Welcome to the Real Estate Insider. <laughs> Welcome to the Real Estate Insider, where I provide you with answers and information on the Edmonton real estate market. Every month, I'm going to answer four questions on the Edmonton real estate market using data from the MLS and a sprinkle of my opinion. These questions are, how fast are homes selling? How much are homes selling for? Are homes selling for list price? And what are the hot neighborhoods in Edmonton? In this video, I am answering, are homes in Edmonton selling for list price? This question is a question. I think this is a burning question for almost every buyer and seller out there, whether you are local or moving here from a different area, people want to know if homes are actually selling for list price. During the really hot seller's market, I know places that were very busy that were selling during the really during the peak of the seller's market, I think that there were some people that were listing their properties lower than market value to get that. During the peak of the seller's market, I think there are those people that were listing their house a little bit lower to cultivate some competition and get a price that they would be really happy with. I don't think that we are there anymore. I think people are now pricing their homes close to what they want to get them for. And we're going to look at that on my website blog where you can find this data uh, if you ever want to refer to back to it after this video. So let's head there. So when we look at if homes are selling for list price in Edmonton, we are going to explore the sold to list ratio. And that is simply taking the list price and dividing it by the sold price to get a percentage. So if the price is under 100%, then homes are selling for less than list price. If the number is at 100%, they're selling exactly for list price. And if the percentage is above 100%, they are selling for more than list price. So looking at the district map, this is uh, the quadrant system that I have set up to help divide things so we can understand the difference between Southwest Edmonton and Northeast Edmonton, for example. Uh, looking at the chart for the sold to list ratio by district, uh, first looking at detached single family homes, it looks like the Southwest, um, performed the lowest with the sold to list ratio. Homes there were selling for 98% of list price uh, during this period. And the Northwest was the highest with 100.1% of list price. And moving into the sold to list ratio, looking at it from a monthly level, I've added this um, line, this red line circled 100. So, Anything above the line is higher than list price. At the line is list price and below the line is below list price. The lines are divided by detached single family homes, attached homes and apartment condos. So, 
So going back to January, things were a little bit weaker than a lot of the year so far. Um, February, we're above list price. March, we're above list price. April, above list price. And now in um, May, we're below list price, just below, half a percent below. So you're going to get a good deal on detached single family homes. It's looking like not too much, like half a percent. <clears throat> uh, looking at detached homes, half duplexes, row houses, things like that. Uh, we're quite a bit below uh, list price for January, February, March. We went just above um, list price. April was a good month uh, for detach. And then we took a dive to 98.4% of list price. So maybe quite a bit of a, a deal you can get, or maybe the homes were a little bit overpriced for the buyer demand. Uh, looking at apartment condos, <laughs> uh, we didn't come anywhere close to 100% of list price. I think the time to buy apartment condos is when nobody else wants them, uh, which is right now. As you can see, we're floating around the 97, 95, 97, 97% of list price, uh, well below 100%. Um, these are, it's hard to believe that these are overpriced given the um, median sold prices that we were looking at in the previous video. But, um, but yeah, so, so if you want a deal, condos seems to be where it's at. Okay, looking. Checking this data against the year over year to see how we performed um, in each segment versus last year. Uh, detached single family homes, every category was last year was under 100% of list price and only So every category in May last year was below 100% of list price and only did detached single family homes in May go above 100% of list price. So So if you're wanting to know if things are selling for list price, you're probably wanting to know if you can get a deal or what kind of discount you're going to have to give on your property. Not necessarily do you, will you always be giving a discount if you're a seller on the property because of, based on, just because this data says things are selling for 98% of list price or whatever. If you're pricing it right, you will get close to list price or list price. Though very many sellers like to try to price in a cushion where somebody can feel like they're getting a deal and that can sometimes backfire on you. So be very, so with the way things are changing right now in the market, I think it's extra, extra important to be pricing your home without that cushion. And I think that you'll see a quicker sale at a higher price. If you like this video, go ahead and share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.